Hello Interior Sports fans, Joe Cook here in the Sports Seat for you this evening, bringing you the sports news of the day. The NAHL draft is over and the Ice Dogs will continue to prepare for not only a new season, but a new division and new looking NAHL. In recent weeks, there has been a lot of movement in the league. The ownership group of the Wenatchee Wild relocated their NAHL membership to Hidalgo, Texas and are now the Rio Grande Valley Killer Bees. The town Toyota Center where the Wild played bought the logo and Wild name for the previous owner, David White, the owner and governor of the Fresno Monsters, relocated and reactivated the Monsters to Wenatchee. So basically, the Fresno Monsters turned into the Wenatchee Wild, and last year's Wild team are now the Killer Bees in Rio Grande. Easy. Also, the winningest coach in USA Hockey, Bliss Littler will remain as the Wild head coach and retain his assistant coaches. Also, some new teams will be a part of the NAHL in the 2013-2014 season. The Minnesota Wilderness in Cloquet, Minnesota, and the Minnesota Magicians in Richfield in the previously mentioned Rio Grande Killer Bees. Now, how does this affect Fairbanks? The Ice Dogs will be in a new Midwest division featuring the Kenai Brown Bears, the Wilderness, the Magicians, Wenatchee, and the Cooley Region Chill. Now, get this. The town the Chill play in is called On Alaska. Alaska in Wisconsin. So there could be three rivalries now for the Ice Dogs. Today we caught up with Ice Dogs general manager Rob Prophet and head coach Trevor Stewart by phone about the league changes. I think it'll help with our recruiting tools back in the Midwest again. We kind of moved a little farther west the last few years and it isn't our first time through this Midwest slash Central Division. We've been in there with the likes of Bismarck and Alexandria, Minnesota and stuff in the past, so it's not like our first time through it. So I think there's nothing but positive uh, all the way around. It'll be a nice geographical area to concentrate in. Some transportation will be good, and then as well as exposing our guys to even more college hockey programs in that area and being in front of more college guys for more opportunities for scholarships. Our division was, was definitely a skilled division and very competitive, and I think the South is a bigger division that is um, maybe a little more rugged. I think that, uh, you know, whatever division we're in, we're going to be prepared for it. And now we go to one of our race tracks. The North Pole Speedway had the track open last night for the rookies practice. It wasn't ideal conditions, of course, with the wet weather last night, but the rookies gave it a go in their Legends cars. Races will be on Thursdays and Saturdays at 7 this year at the farthest North Pave Speedway. The rooks are getting in as much time as they can. The for the track this season, which is slated to start on June 6th, if the weather holds up. For Jessica Eldridge, this is a new challenge coming off a successful four-year Bandos career. She was a three-time champion. Austin Cody's dad, Ryan, raced last year at the Speedway and raced for five years back in Maine. Austin, a rising senior at CEC, says it wasn't just his idea to get on the track for the first time. Mostly my dad, I guess. Just come out here and spend time with him. Do something fun. That's a new track for me, so everything's new. Yeah, I was trying to teach them the points of the track, uh, where to go into the corners and, and where to come up on the straightaways. And of course, yeah, it was wet. It was a little bit difficult, uh, but I think it was still good practice for them. They go faster. Legends go a lot faster than bandos. And I know the bando from you know, the top of my hand. Well, this is my first race in the, in the Legends, so it's an all-new story for me. And then... Uh, Last year I was Bando, so it's a whole new different car. <laughs> And the Nanak volleyball team released their 2013-2014 schedule yesterday. First-year head coach Mallory Laraniaga will be taking the Nanaks to Hawaii to start off the season. That's what I'm talking about. While on the island, they will play Brigham Young Hawaii, Chaminade, Hawaii Pacific, and Hawaii Hilo. Back in Fairbanks on September 6th will be the 15th Nanak Classic featuring teams like Colorado Christian, Fresno Pacific, and Humboldt State. The Nanaks opened their GNAC slate with a home match on, on September 19th with with Montana State Billings. The first of two encounters with the rival Sea Wolves will be October 12th in Fairbanks. The back end of the schedule will be a little tough. The Nanix will be on the road for five of their last seven matches. And that'll do it for sports tonight. Thanks for rocking with me for a little while. For more KTVS Sports, just follow us on Twitter and get our mobile app. And you can watch us on YouTube and WebCenter11.com. Stay cool, Alaska. Mike Schultz has your full weather forecast coming up next, and we'll catch you next time.